Hey there, how's it going? Robert here from robertsproductions.net coming at you with another Sony Vegas Pro tutorial. And in this tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at creating this split screen video effect. All right, tasty. So you see this in a lot of Discovery Channel shows. And maybe if you have some GoPro cameras or multiple camera shots, you can use this in your project as well. So I'm going to go ahead and get right into it. Here I have my project with two video clips already imported into the timeline without the audio. So what we're going to do is adjust the event pan crop for each of these video clips. Now if I click this, we're not going to be adjusting the anchor points here. We're not going to be taking a ruler and doing fine increments or anything like that. What we're going to be mainly focusing on is adjusting the position over here. So I have a 1920 by 1080 clip and I want to make this be in the center on the left while still keeping enough room for the clip on the right. So I can do that by bringing out the good old calculator and taking 1920 times 2. That gives us 3840. So if I get rid of the calculator, we don't need that and type in 3840. Sometimes Sony Vegas doesn't believe you at first, so you may have to enter it twice. I'm not sure if that's a bug, but 3840, there we go. So now you can see the clip is in the center, and now we just want to nudge it over to the left. So I can do that by adjusting the X center. We're just going to change the X center from 960 to the actual width of this video, which is 1920. And as you can see, that brings it right to the edge there. If I look at the clip, it's right to the edge on the left hand side of the screen. Now you want to make sure that your source maintain aspect ratio and stretch to fill frame are both set to yes as well. Otherwise, if this stretch to fill frame is set to no, you'll you won't see any effect done and you'll be commenting that this doesn't work. So set that to yes. Make sure your aspect ratio is also set to yes, because if it's set at no, you'll get a stretched out look, which some people prefer because they look thinner, but I don't think it looks good. So there we have that. All we need to do now is save this as a preset. I'm going to call mine split left. Click the little floppy disk icon to save that. We're still using floppy disks here in Sony Vegas. And then close out of that. So now we can go to the bottom clip, adjust the event pan crop for this one. We can choose split left. And then all we have to do is change the X center from 1920 to zero. And that brings the clip to the right hand side of the clip perfectly. We don't have to nudge anything up or down or anything like that. You can also save this as a preset, but I find just entering zero is not too big of a hassle. So let's close out of that, preview this clip, and here we have the clip on the left, the dog on the left, the dog on the right. Bada beam, bada boom. There you go. So I, I do feed them. I'm not sure what she's doing over there, and hopefully those leaves are fine. Okay. And, and now the right is eating. Okay, let's just stop this here. So now you may be asking, my camera doesn't take 1920, 1080p video. It may only shoot in 720p or a lot of cameras, if you're shooting in higher frame rate, 60 frames per second, which you probably are, if you're doing a lot of action shots, you want a higher frame rate for that. So let's open up a new Vegas project here and let's bring in my bacon again. Here goes the bacon and believe it or not, the bacon is at 1280 by 720. Let's drag this down to the timeline, click yes, because I want to match the project video settings to the media. And if I go to the properties here, I get 1280 by 720 as a size. And all I have to do is add that preset in the event pan crops, split left, and it automatically calculates that position for this video size, just like that. So it's 2560, that's 1280 times two, and the X center set at 1280. So if I close out of this, create a new video track, control shift Q or right click, insert video track, and then we hold down control, click the bottom clip, drag that up. We have a duplicate. I can go to the bottom clip here. Let's just make this one be the right video and just set the X center to zero. And there we go. We have the, the one on the left. We have the one on the right. Bacon everywhere. Syncing, camera recording, sync. Mm, just gets better and better. So there you have it. A split screen effect done here in Sony Vegas. Go ahead and get out there, do some action shots and put those together in Sony Vegas side by side. Make your own little Discovery Channel show man versus wild and if you find some gold maybe you'll be able to go on the discovery channel who knows my action shot would be me mowing the lawn walking in the street but yours may be jumping out of a helicopter skydiving kayaking explosions etc there you go thanks a lot for watching leave a comment below on any suggestions or comments you have and i will see you guys in the next one